My name is Jonas Neuberg. I'm representing Berg Propulsion, Swedish company doing propulsion systems and electrical integration packages. Now, you gave a presentation here at uh, ITS 2022, and I was wondering if you could provide a brief recap of that presentation. So, this industry is facing quite a massive transformation with sustainability and, and new environmentally friendly solutions coming into play. And, and the presentation today was really laying out the methodology that we at Berg Propulsion have to assess what technical solution is the best one from an operational point of view for a ship owner, considering where they're going to put their assets to work. So it was really about how do we evaluate, what are the critical things, and comparing also two candidates that, that we have, or two systems that we're offering to the market, one of them being a parallel hybrid, which has been a quite common system for us and something we've had great success with, with a serial hybrid, which is something that, that takes you a little bit even further when it steps into the battery space. Now, can you explain the difference between parallel hybrid and serial hybrid? In a nutshell, a parallel hybrid is a conventional tug with the main engine driving the propeller with the ability of having an electric motor connected to the system so that you can insert and extract electrical energy into the energy equation. So a main engine together with an electric motor. A serial hybrid is a thruster with a big electric motor onto it connected to a battery and a genset. Now, how does an owner decide between those two systems? This is a really difficult question. It's a very good question, though, because there, there are quite big differences between them. A parallel hybrid is, is really the choice for flexibility and also the choice with the lower capital costs associated with it. When I say the choice for flexibility is that this is a vessel that is really efficient on liquid fuel. Whether it's diesel, whether it's HVO, whether it's methanol, it's really efficient when it runs the main engine. But it has the ability to run electricity as well. A serial hybrid is really a battery boat. Right? You have to, to really run everything on the batteries. It still has the ability through gensets to, to insert electricity into the system, but it's not as efficient in that. So it's, it's really two sides of the, the optimization. Do you want to have full fuel flexibility? Then it's a parallel hybrid. Do you want to have full battery capability? Then it's a serial hybrid. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the, the poll questions asked during the session was in regards to what's holding back electrification, and the number one answer was equipment costs. What, what can the industry do to, to lower those costs, to push forward really, electrification? Really good question, and I, and I think the, the answer on this poll was spot on. The, the only reason the industry is not stepping into this full-heartedly is the capital threshold that is in there, because these boats, they're 50 to 100% more expensive, especially if you look at a serial hybrid, which is really the, the most sophisticated, the most capable one that you can get into. So, so the industry still has some issues solving this, this part of the equation. I think the solution in this lies in technology maturing a little bit. It lies with ship owners starting to demand greener solution. And I think it also comes from regulations which might mandate, say, carbon taxes or emission taxes, or simply saying that in this port, you have to have a green solution because the, the, I don't see a solution that completely takes out the, the capital cost differentiated, differential between these two. It's too big. Hmm? So owners certainly need surety to, to make these uh, big investments in uh, hmm. electrification. Ab absolutely. Absolutely. It's not a small step. It seems to be a very good step and, and it's fantastic vessels and fantastic equipment systems. So it will happen. It will take some time and there will be pioneers out there taking the first step so that others can follow.